chance to redeem your crimes. A new life. Do not squander it. Now, as you may have been able to see, I uh, I joined the default league. Uh, the default league is basically normal. Uh, you know, if you had if you're in Diablo two, Diablo three, whatever, a uh, hardcore one death, you you're done. Uh, normal, you know, you just die and you're fine. Uh, you just resurrect and you're good. So that's basically what this is, and I'll I'll explain more uh, about the uh, leagues later. So for now, let's get into the game. You click this, you wake up on the shore, you click it, you go in, and oh, hey, there's a there's a club or different characters have different starting weapons. Talk to this guy. Hey, what the heck? You know, I'm sitting here, and then this guy eats his face. So, uh, bath salts all over the place. Uh, yeah. Pick up this gem. You always get that. As you can see, you hold Alt to show items on the ground. However, there is an option where you can make it so that all items show automatically when they're dropped, and they show at all times. So that's nice. I have that on. Um, yeah, right now. I'm just doing a basic attack, and I'm not sure why I'm just doing a basic attack, because I picked up a skill gem. Now, this skill gem, uh, in this game, as you can see, uh, you gain experience. Uh, you have to equip it in, a, in an item slot, in an item socket, okay? Every item in the game, except rings and amulets and belts, have sockets. Uh, every item, literally every item that drops. Um, they have different numbers, depending on the level they are. They have different colors. You can have three colors, red, green, or blue. And that, uh, if you want to put in a red gem, a strength gem, then uh, you would need a red slot. You can put it in this one if you want. You know, it doesn't matter. Um, so, uh, we have a heavy strike gem in. Uh, you know, as you can see, it's, a, it's an attack. Uh, it costs some mana. Uh, and you can see experience one of 70. That means... Uh, as we kill monsters with this equipped in, an, in, a, in a weapon or an item that's equipped, uh, it will gain experience, the same experience that your character would gain. And once it gains that amount of experience, we can level it up. Uh, level 1, it'll level up as we keep going, and it will get better as we keep leveling it up. So, let's continue. Why are there no monsters? I'm just sneaking past all of them. I really am just sneaking past all of them. Ah, there's some. Okay, so, there's my heavy strike. I'm whiffing a lot. Let's pick all these up. Alright, now. Plenty of chests around. Rayclaws, that's the place we're at, Rayclaws. Uh, plenty of gem, um, items around, plenty of things to open and stuff to get items. There's always items dropping on the ground. It's awesome. Oh, look at that, an orb of alchemy. I'll explain orbs and that kind of stuff later. Um, let's kill the drown. Oh my god, it's the boss. It's the boss. It's Hillock. He's a big jerk. But we're... We're big jerk too. So it's okay. Now we better heal. Zoom in. He's dead. We get a bunch of loots. We love that. It's always fun to kill the boss. Now, 
Um, okay, I think I think we're good to go. So we uh, we finished that quest. We talked to these guys because it's the first time. We talked to them. Uh, we should talk to Nessa. Uh, she will give us a quest. Lovely. And Best will also give us a quest. Um, and Tarklay is going to give us our quest reward. So we get uh, a skill gem for our reward. Now, you don't always get skill gems as rewards, but, you know, every once in a while you do. So we got Heavy Strike, Cleave, Ground Slam, Dual Strike. I'm going to pick Cleave. I like Cleave. It's a good, good one. Um, and now we are set. So, I believe we are... <laughs> We are 1% away from leveling up, so we need to do that. Okay. Let's just lure a monster out here real quick. Come come get me. Look, they're throwing torches. Oh, crap. That's a new thing. They just literally came out with that a couple days ago. The ability for some monsters to actually be holding torches and uh, to throw them at you one time and they uh, as you can see they live a little pile on the ground for a little bit a little pile of fire that hurts to walk through so it's very cool it's another unique upgrade now this is the passive skill tree as you can see it is nuts absolutely nuts um, uh, it's, it's just it's crazy um, basically I can go into a little more detail later. Oh, let me kill this guy real quick. Um, I might go into a little more detail later. I'm not sure, but uh, basically, in this game, you every time you level up, you get passive skill points. Uh, you get one passive skill point. So this will uh, allow you to put a point in one of these areas. Uh, you know, melee damage. You'll get extra melee damage. Here's more melee damage. Here's more strength, accuracy, one-handed damage. Uh, I better watch out. Uh, but, yeah, so for now, I'm just going to add to my melee damage. And, uh, yeah. I might say a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to say a little bit more about that later. So, okay, let's continue on. Um... Now, our skill gem, as you can see on the side right over here, it's about to level up. It's got five more experience to go. So we will see that level up soon. Uh, after this kill, maybe? No, one more. Alright, maybe not. Maybe we just get one experience for monster or something. No. Two, maybe. Okay, so. I can't use cleave because I don't have a, a sword. <laughs> I probably have one, but I'm not using it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, well, tell you what, let's just kill these guys and we'll go back. We'll just go back right now. Okay. So let's talk about the uh, skill gem a little more. So when you get it up to the amount of experience that needs to level up, um, it'll stop gaining experience. It won't gain any more past that until you level it up. So we see that the next level, uh, the next level uh, makes it a required level of two. So you have to be at least, at least level two to use it, to equip it. And uh, sometimes it might say next level's mana cost might be this much or this level's strength might be this much and you might have to have that required number of strength stat points or, or whatever to use it so uh, leveling up isn't always the greatest decision but uh, it usually is for the most part uh, the way this works is any character can equip any skill in the game so uh, you know you can build bow barbarians and stuff and have all bow skills and whatnot but uh, you can also level you know any skill for other people or for your lower level characters. You can just level them in your higher level characters uh, and uh, you know they should be level up pretty quickly. So yes, uh, they get more powerful as they level up and, and you should level them up usually. So I'm gonna level this one up and now it has you know level two, you see that, has a little bit extra damage. Uh, yeah, 
uh, I think that's all I was going to go over for this first intro video. So in the next video, I'll, I'll be talking a little bit more about the passive skill tree. Uh, probably a bit about the items. And probably about flasks. So yeah, I will see you next time.